Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here. Planes the Kerbal Space Program, but we're doing something different this time. Um, a user in the forums, uh, THX1138, has uh, a problem, and he uh, he gave me his save file to see if I could fix it, and uh, I can. So uh, here's the thing: he's got a orbit here, and a, anybody who's played long enough with this game realizes that this orbit is backwards. It's also roughly at where the moon is. So the moon's going around this way, and the contract is to get your satellite going around this way, which means every half orbit, this poor little satellite that he's trying to get matched up with this orbit is intersecting the moon, and the moon is screwing it up. As you can see here, the projected path of this guy is going to come here, hit the moon, and get flung out over here. And he was getting frustrated, and he wanted some help. So here's your help. What you want to do is you have to pay attention to the moon, but you want to make your maneuver node almost ignoring the moon. Um, what you want is you want to be on the other side, but you just want all you care about is getting your, your maneuver node orbit connecting to this in some way. And all that means is you're going to fiddle. Uh, let's go ahead and try some radial. Radial that way is bad. This way is good. <laughs> uh, let's also try, let's say, speeding up a little bit. Uh, speeding up is bad. Okay, let's try slowing down then. Slowing down seems to be good. Well, that actually that actually removed our moon encounter, but you know what? I, I actually want to keep the moon encounter so that I know where it is. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm actually going to close the engineer because we don't really need it. It's just getting in the way. What we want is our eventual orbit here to intersect with the satellite orbit. And you see here, we're coming in on the outside. So we want to we wanna change our orbit so that we're not coming out on the outside anymore. So we're actually touching it. And that's all I care about. I don't care about if it's, if it's pretty. I don't care about if it's, if it's like at the ascending node or the descending node. And you can drop a maneuver node here and then, and then look at it from different angles to see if it's close. And that's actually pretty close. We're a little bit outside still. But it's still pretty close. Um, maybe if we do a little bit of normal burn here. Normal doesn't seem to be doing it. This down normal? Oh, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to drop a maneuver node here. And I'm not doing anything special. All I'm doing is fiddling until I get it. And because we're way out at moon's orbit, we got days to fiddle. I mean, this, this maneuver node is an hour and 14 minutes away, and I just dropped it there at random. Uh, but this looks pretty good. If we can if we can hit this first maneuver node, and the reason I'm dropping this maneuver node is it gives me a point of reference to look, just to kind of compare it as I look around on, on all the ways. And the maneuver node just stays close to this satellite's orbit, no matter which direction I look at it. Here it's a little bit far away, but that's not a big deal. So we're going to go with this burn here. This burn is a mere 54.7 meters per second. Um, and if you look at the satellite he gave us, or the satellite he set up himself, it's kind of crazy. It's got a lot of stuff going on, but it's an ion satellite, uh, which would scare me, most people. It scared me the first time I saw it, but actually, um, it, it's not that bad. It, it's got a uh, thrust to weight of about 0.38, which is not bad at all, and it, it, it can do 54 meters per second in probably less than a minute. So... Let's get rid of that. There we go. Let's also bring up our contract so you can see it. It's not It's not this one. Actually, it is this one. Uh, no, because this one has a materials bay. It is this one here. We've got a, a new unmanned satellite. We've had stability for 10 seconds, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, but the main thing, you've got a lot of contracts here. You're a busy man. Uh, the main thing we want is the designated equatorial orbit around Kerbin. Uh, within a reasonable deviation. So all we need to do is go to this maneuver node, and with the help of Kerbal Alarm Clock, it shouldn't be too hard. And I don't know how long this alarms or how long this burn's going to be, so I'm going to go down to about a minute, and I'm going to do a quick test burn by hitting Z and then X. 17 seconds, that's not bad at all. We'll go down to about 8 seconds here. Hit Z again. You know, keep us aimed roughly at the maneuver node here. Watch as our, as our orbit gets closer and closer to what we said it would be. And then hit the X key roughly when we're there. That looks pretty good. I was, I was looking at the orbit more than where the maneuver node was on the thing. So now if we kill this, now we can drop another maneuver node here. 
and then compare it again like we did we did the last time. That actually looks really good. All the, all the angles we look at this thing, the maneuver node is staying where, roughly where. It's a little bit off here, but that's not a big deal. It's, it's close enough that we can be happy with it. Now, while we're dropping this maneuver node, we might as well use it to fix our orbit. Now, we're going way far north and south. So we need to we need to burn south so that our so that our orbit is following this line. Now you notice we've got another moon encounter. Ignore it. All we care about is this part of the orbit here. So we need to radial inward a little bit. We're bringing this this here over this way. And oh, we did a little bit too far. But we need to go maybe a little bit prograde or sorry, a little bit retrograde. I'm actually going to bring this down so we can see everything here. We're still a little bit, we need a little bit more, maybe prograde. Need a little bit more of the radial. See, that's too much because we're coming way out here. So we're going to go retrograde. We're going to go back to the radial this way. And there you go. Our arc is following this arc very closely. And the north and south is pretty much nailed. And this maneuver node is 91 meters per second, which is really nothing in the whole vast scheme of things. But we also have a moon encounter. So let's go ahead and moon is out here somewhere. Oh, there it is. There's that planetoid that's given us so much trouble. So we pass into his sphere of influence. And then we leave his sphere of influence. And now it's all getting to that maneuver node. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do this. Notice the, the the amount changed a little bit, but not it's not a big deal. All we need to do is go two hours ahead in the time, and then do this burn that the game is telling me is going to be about a minute long. Oh, 27 seconds long. Okay, the game lied. Let's go down to about that far here. Now we'll hit Z. And then if you watch here, you'll just see our orbit is twisting and turning, getting closer and closer to here. And then eventually, boom, we just got our check mark here. Now I'm going to wait for this check mark for 10 seconds. We're just going to chill out here. Notice our orbit isn't even very close to the orbit it wants. But guess what? We just completed the contract. And that's how you do it. Um, just the, the big important thing is you were on this side of the moon, you needed to get on the other side so you had plenty of time to get your orbit all set. And you also use maneuver nodes so that you can you can nail it with trial and error through the maneuver node, and then all you have to do is follow it. And the second one, I barely had to follow it at all. So that's how you do it. That's how you get an orbit close to moon, backwards, in a, just a couple minutes. Oh, and anyone else out there, if you happen to have uh, a request, a, a problem, uh, feel free to, to get me a, your save file. I will load it up, and I will try to solve your problem, and I will do it on video.